This is showdown weekend for these employees. President Trump's shutdown of the federal government will mean that for the first time this coming weekend, these employees of the Transportation Security Agency are not going to receive a paycheck. They show up for work every day. They have to. They're known as essential personnel, which means our government has decided we can't really function as a nation without them. And yet, our government has decided, at least in the White House, that as important as they may be, as essential as they may be, starting this weekend, they'll work without pay. So why in the world has President Donald Trump decided that in order to make his case to the American people, he's going to penalize these workers, many of whom are essential to America's security and safety? Why did he do this? I'd have to say, with all due respect to President Donald Trump, pick on somebody your own size. Stop picking on people living paycheck to paycheck who are trying to serve this nation in important ways. The president says it's all about walls. Well, it turns out there are things he hasn't shared with the American people, and he's not likely to do it when he makes his presentation this evening. Take a look here at the apprehensions at the border. These are the apprehensions being made by federal agencies of people trying to cross the border illegally. Notice something? You may have noticed that in the year 2000, there were 1.6 million apprehensions. And then take a look at the year 2018. The apprehensions are down to slightly over 200,000, from 1.6 million to 200,000. We're going to be told we're facing a security crisis at the border. And it turns out that we have fewer people seeking to cross the border illegally now than we have in 45 years. And the apprehensions of those people have gone down dramatically from 1.6 million to slightly over 200,000. And we have already dramatically increased the number of people in Border Patrol. Meanwhile, let me add something that the President doesn't talk about because it doesn't fit into his wall scenario. We are facing the worst drug epidemic in the history of the United States of America. It's opioids, heroin, and fentanyl. And fentanyl has now been identified by the CDC as the deadliest narcotic on the streets of America. Where is the fentanyl coming from? Well, I can tell you where a large part of it's coming from. From China through Mexico. Oh, they must be putting it in backpacks and jumping over the border. And, and they, no, 85% of it is coming through ports of entry, places where vehicles and railroad cars go through now. So 85% of this deadly fentanyl is coming through ports of entry. What are we doing to stop it? Let me tell you, we're not doing enough. But when it comes to cars and trucks coming into this country, 17% are being scanned. Fewer than one out of five of the cars and trucks coming into this country. Ever wonder how the fentanyl's getting into this country and killing people in every town across the state of Illinois and across America? It's coming in through ports of entry. If the president would stop preaching about his almighty wall and take a look at real border security, he'd be doing what's necessary to stop this fentanyl and these drugs coming into this country, and we're not doing enough. I'm for border security. Make it smart. I'm not worried about a president keeping a campaign promise that didn't make sense from the start. I'm worried about keeping this border safe for our families across the entire nation. Tonight, let's make sure that the people who work at that border and work at TSA and work for the federal government get back to work this week. That's priority number one.